There is no inflation so there is not going to be a lob, they're going to add value to their currency. Why because they have valuation? Newshound Intel Guru Walking Stick Iraqi Bank Friend Aki Update Question, You're asking us why we are not talking to you about these lower note commercials. Can you tell us more about them Aki, yes, they are coming out. This is the media campaign we told you about. It's getting faster and faster and louder and louder. The purpose is to show the citizens the newer notes and more information. These commercials are coming out at any time now, nothing is in the way to block this next step. It is a massive media campaign. Newshound Guru Claire article, Al Sudani to Al Sisi, Iraq is capable of being a meeting place for the countries of the region. Intel Guru FRANK26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report Firefly Mr. Sami Iraqi bank manager friend said the CBI wants the entire deletion of the 30 project to go smooth and have very little impact on the citizens, that's why the whole thing is going digital. This way the CBI can switch out currencies so easily, Frank, Brilliant Sudani. Brilliant Alak. Brilliant Dr. Shivibi wherever you may be, rest in peace. Firefly. It's going to be automated and the citizens 1T even feel it when they switch over to the new exchange rate. They 1T even feel it is the words from Saleh. Saleh also say the solution coming will lower the dollar exchange rate. Newshound Guru Militia Man Iraq has some of the largest deposits of phosphates and sulfur, massive world-class gold supply, rare earths, liquid natural gas and they have, tourism they all generate income the development road project, you're going to find taxes and tariffs at the borders. There is going to be a lot of revenue, a lot back in Saddam Hussein era the dinar was around 3.22. It may have been considered a little bit overpriced, should have been more about 2.80, it's at 1310 right now. There is a big difference. Now you have to add all those things I just mentioned. The valuation of a country. That s what they have to do, Sudani wasn't he lying when he said the dinar is going to be stronger than the dollar, Intel Guru Mark Z. Via PDK comment, wealth manager sent out memo saying the dinar is a scam. Mark Z, well if it is a scam Trump invested in it, Warren Buffet invested in it, the US Treasury has invested in it. I believe even George Soros has invested in it and almost every central bank around the world has invested in it. So if it is a scam, well, all the smartest people in the world fell for it.